Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you guys came over to see another cleaning video. This cleaning video has tons of motivation as you can tell. Look at these crazy messes. I had just took down all my Christmas decor, got it all put in tubs, but my house was a wreck. It looked like I had like just moved in or something. It was just like half decorated, so messy, and I was really, really overwhelmed by the whole thing. So luckily my husband had done the dishes for me in the kitchen, but I really needed to go through and at least get my common living areas back to normal. And once I was done, I felt so much better. So I hope this gives you tons of cleaning motivation. I hope this inspires you to um, pick a room and start cleaning in your house and not let that overwhelming feeling get to you. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you don't miss when I upload. With that being said, let's get to cleaning. favorite part of cleaning videos my favorite part is always when people clean their sinks I have no idea why I get so much satisfaction out of it I just think it's so great to just watch it kind of sparkle and become almost brand new on this particular night I had told you my husband did the dishes and I was so thankful that he had left a bunch of food and stuff in the sink and it was driving me crazy and I had to kind of pick at it, put really hot water, and I finally got it all like shiny, clean, and new again, but it took me a little bit longer, and I decided that sometimes we can be upset about that kind of thing, or sometimes we just have to be happy that somebody came along and helped in general, and that was where I was going to take it on this particular night, and even though it took me a little bit longer to clean my sink, that was okay because I was glad to have the help instead of begrudging that he did not do it perfectly the way I wanted it. So it is something I'm working on and something I'm growing in.
of this red glittery stuff is from my tree topper that was in my dining room. I had these picks and when I put them on my table to put them all away, it left this crazy residue of red glitter and like little pieces and stuff. And I was so like worried about getting them on the floor that I did take like a wet paper towel and kind of blotted them all up because I knew if they hit my rug that they would be like gone forever. So um, just a little hint in that department if you have that situation. But I love the way my Christmas tree looks this year in this room and I loved having two Christmas trees. So it was all worth it. And now it was just time to get everything back to normal um, for homeschool tomorrow. And I was just really satisfied with the fact that everything was just clean and nice in here. This table had a ton of dust on it because it had actually my village from Christmas on it. And so I had to go through and basically dust and really deep clean the entire table. And a lot of times I don't dust the bottom there. I know it sounds really weird, but that stuff's my dad's and it's a little bit emotional. Do you guys have a place like that in your house? It's kind of like emotional to clean so you kind of avoid it. Yeah, that is that place for me with the flag and that's his hat and everything like that. So I kind of just knew that it was too dusty and I really had to go in there and clean it. Um, right here you'll see I'm trying to kind of redecorate and put stuff out. I ended up going back and like changing all of this. It took me forever to figure out what I really wanted to put there, but I think I figured out something good. table and my end tables because they had so much just like dust and debris and crumbs and things I felt so much better and it kind of gave me motivation to clean this piece as well this piece was giving me so much anxiety it had so much dust on it and I for some reason just knew like I had to put stuff back in that it was really dusty and it was just overwhelming to me. I know that seems silly, like a little piece of furniture to be that overwhelming, but it really was for me. And I just knew that it was gonna kind of be a lot of work and I'd have to like sit on the floor. Um, but once I did it, it really didn't take that long. And I feel like it looks 
so much better. I just kind of got this area back to where I like it. it, gave me so much peace. And I know that's silly that not having dust on your furniture would give you peace or something, but it really does. It gives me kind of clarity. I got to put all my normal decorations back out, and I just thought that it turned out really, really well and gave me some much needed um, peace while I was cleaning. So if you are a fan of before and afters, let me tell you, these are some before and afters. Look at that, doesn't it look so much better? Oh my gosh. I did not get to vacuuming or mopping in my living room or dining room and everybody was asleep in my house and I really was scared I was gonna wake somebody up. So I didn't get to that, but it's okay. Tomorrow is another day and I was just blown away by these before and afters. I went to bed feeling so much better just about myself, about my house, and I had been feeling so overwhelmed that I just thought, oh, I'm never gonna get over this. And really this helped me tremendously, let me tell you. I really didn't show you guys the before in my fireplace, but that was driving me crazy that it was kind of like just hodgepodge. It looked like I just moved in and like threw some stuff up there. And so once I went and got the stuff out of the spare room, put it back on the fireplace, I don't know, for some reason it felt so much better. And y'all, I need words of encouragement all the time, everywhere, all day long. So um, I love having it up there and it being there to encourage me all day long when I need it. And I just love before and afters. Oh my gosh, it just makes my heart happy. Does it for you guys too? I know, that might be dumb. But for me, um, this just made me feel better. And I think you have to do what makes you feel better even if it's just cleaning your house. And I think sometimes if we can get these little things done, other things in life don't seem as daunting. It's when things pile up and pile up that things in your heart kind of explode and you're like, oh, I don't know what to do in life. And so my advice to you is just kind of pick a space, pick a room and just go on and go for it and you will feel so much better. I hope this gave you some much needed cleaning motivation and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.